Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knott's Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right-handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making this hearts aligned shawl. Now we are going to be making this shawl out of puff stitches and double crochets. We're working from the bottom up. It's super, super simple. This one that I made measures 76 inches wide from one end to the next, 76 inches, and it's approximately 28 inches long down from one, the longest point in the middle to the middle of your neck, okay? Now, you can go as small or as big as you would like with this shawl. Now this shawl is also lined in hearts going all the way up on each side. So every single row starts with the puff stitch cluster. The pu Every single row starts with the V puff stitch. So these are just V stitches in lines to make it look more like a heart. The yarn that I used was the Lemia Wool Easy and I used three balls of this. Um, this skein's not full all the way because I'm already working on another project with it, but it is the Lemia Wool Easy. It is a four weight yarn, 80% uh, acrylic and 20% wool. Now these come in 100 gram skeins, so if you want something similar to the size that I have, you're gonna use about 300 grams. 229 yards times three, about 690 yards, just under 700 yards. I did use all three skeins and then had just this little ball left over that I knew I probably wasn't gonna get another row out of it. Now you are gonna need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. Also, we're using a six millimeter hook. Now, if you have a different yarn that you wanna use, that's no problem. I did go up a hook size to give this a nicer flow. You can use whatever yarn, just go up the recommended hook size. You can use a bulky, thinner, lightweight, whatever yarn, just Choose your yarn, choose your hook, grab all your materials and meet me back here and we will get started on the hearts aligned shawl. All right, so in order to get started on this, we're gonna take a slip knot. We're actually gonna do a backwards slip knot. Um, our first stitch is going to be a puff stitch and we're gonna put a lot of yarn overs into the same thing, into the same space. So working a backwards slip knot Instead of taking your working yarn and pulling it through, you're actually taking your tail end and pulling that through. And what that's going to do is once we work into our first chain, it's going to allow us to pull it tightly closed. It's like a magic circle backwards. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is chain five. Now into your first chain, the first chain that you created, which would be the fifth chain from your hook, we're gonna put a puff V-stitch. Let me show you how to do a puff V-stitch. We're gonna yarn over and go into the stitch and pull up a loop. Now we should have three loops. Yarn over, go into the stitch again, pull up a loop, you should have five loops. Now we're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the stitch, and pull up a loop. Now you should have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're gonna yarn over and pull through six loops. So you're leaving the last loop on your hook, and now you're gonna yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay, chain one, and now we're gonna do it again. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop. We're doing that three times, so yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, 
pull through all of our loops but the last loop on our hook and then we'll yarn over and pull through the last one. Now into our first chain, this is our first chain that's created this big hole, we're going to put a treble. Wrap your yarn twice around your hook, go into the stitch, pull up, take two off at a time. One, two, and three. And now since we created that backward slip knot, we'll be able to pull from the bottom and it'll close up really nicely. And that is our first row. Okay, now our second row, to start we're gonna chain four. Every row starts with a chain four. And into this first stitch, we're gonna put a puff V-stitch. Same thing, yarn over, go through and pull up a loop. We're doing that three times. Two, three, pulling through all loops but the last one, and then pulling through two, chaining one. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all but the last loop, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now on top of this puff stitch, we're gonna put one more puff stitch. So one, two, three, pull through all but the last, and then pull through, chain one. One, two, three, Pull through all but the last, chain one. Now you should have two puff V stitches. They don't really look like a whole lot yet until we start adding on our puff V's and they turn a little bit more into a heart like, okay? Our last puff V is going to be into the fourth chain from the previous row. So get your hook into there, pull up a loop, two, three, yarn over, pull through all but one, go through two, chain one, do it one more time. And don't forget your treble. Your every row starts and ends with a chain four or a treble, and every row also starts and ends with a puff V stitch, okay? So, those are your two setup rows. We've got one more row of setup, our third row, and then I'm going to show you your fourth and your fifth row are your repeat rows. It's a two row repeat, okay? So chain four. Turn your work. Remember, every row starts and ends with a chain four and a puff stitch. Well, a puff V stitch. So you get your chain four, put your puff V stitch into the first stitch. And now into our next V stitch. Here's where we're gonna start creating the separation of our heart lines. So into the center of this puff V stitch, we're gonna put three double crochets. One, two, three. Now into the center of the next puff stitch, we're gonna put a next our next puff V stitch. And now into our last puff stitch, we're gonna put three double crochets just like we did on this side. And remember, every row starts and ends with the puff treble or chain four puff, okay? So finding your fourth chain, we're adding our last puff stitch, our last puff V stitch. And 
And now we're going to end it with a treble. And this is what your work should look like. You should have started with chain four, put a puff V-stitch on top of your first stitch. Three double crochets into the chain space of your puff stitch, then another puff V into the chain space of the next puff V, three double crochets, and then an ending with a puff V-stitch. Okay, so now getting started on the next row, this is going to be row four. This is the first row of our repeat. One, two, three, four. Turn your work, puff a V-stitch into the first stitch. Now, Into the top of your next puff V stitch, we're going to put another puff V stitch. That brings us up to our double crochets, and we will put one double crochet on top of each of the next three double crochets. So you'll notice when these are our lines of separations for our puff lines, right? Starting out, our three double crochets go into the chain one space. In every sub subsequent row, they're going to be on top of the double crochets. Now into the middle, this middle puff V-stitch, we're going to add another puff V-stitch. And now we're up to our double crochets again. And we're going to put one double crochet on top of each of the next three double crochets. Now we started this row with two groups of puff stitches. That's how we're going to end this row. So we're going to put a puff V stitch on top of our last puff V stitch. And then we're going to finish out with another puff V-stitch on top of our fourth chain. One, two, three. And then finishing out just like every other row with a treble crochet. And that is your first repeat row complete. So you should be able to start seeing the pattern now. We're starting every row with a puff stitch. And then we're building our heart rows up. And then our double crochet rows up, heart row, double crochet. So you're going to have them separating each other. And that is just building up from the bottom. Okay, so let's continue on. Let me show you row five, and then you will be able to be off on your own, repeating rows four and rows five for as long as you like your size. Chain four. Turn your work, puff stitch into your first stitch. Puff V stitch into your first stitch. Now, into your next chain space, we're going to start another set of double crochets. So into the top of that um, V-stitch in your chain space, you'll put three double crochets all into the same space.
on your next puff V stitch, we're going to put a puff V stitch. We're basically just alternating rows, alternating puffs and then double crochets, puffs and then double crochets. So this brings us up to our double crochets and we're going to put one double crochet on top of each of the next three double crochets. That brings us up to our middle puff stitch where we will add a puff stitch, a puff V stitch. Oh dear heaven, how do I keep getting that wrong this entire filming? That brings us up to our double crochets and we will double crochet on top of each double crochet. And then we're going to puff stitch again. Puff V stitch. Now onto our last puff V stitch. We're going to put our three double crochets. And then into the top of our chain four space. Well, our chain four, not the space. Don't put it in the space. Actually put it in the chain because it's going to help our bottom stay together. and end with a treble crochet. All right, and that is row five. So you're gonna repeat rows four and row five until you get to your desired size. You will notice row four starts with two puff stitches. Row five starts with one puff stitch and then starts another row of double crochets. All right, so go ahead and repeat and rewatch it as many times as you want. If you have made this creation or any other Jolie Knotts creations, find us on Facebook, Jolie Knotts Crochet Community, and share with us. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.